Chemical engineers. When problems involving the production or use of chemicals must be solved, chemical engineers apply the principles of their areas of expertise to solve them. Often their work is the very important link between a scientific discovery and its commercial application. Most work in the production of chemicals and chemical products, which includes designing equipment, developing manufacturing processes of products, and supervising their production. My job duties are primarily uh, from an engineering standpoint to uh, assist in operations of two gas processing facilities in Wyoming. Uh, my responsibilities include uh, process troubleshooting uh, with existing facilities, optimization of production, um, cost reduction. Chemical engineers have skills and training that can be utilized in many different fields. They apply the principles of chemistry, physics, mathematics, and mechanical and electrical engineering in whatever industries they work in. The work that we do is also applicable to different industries, uh, chemicals, uh, pharmaceuticals, and the same principles that we use here we can apply them elsewhere. Many specialize in particular operations such as oxidation or polymerization or in areas like pollution control or the production of a specific product such as automotive plastics or chlorine bleach. Nearly 70 percent of all chemical engineers are found in the chemical, petroleum refining, and similar industries. Most of the others work for engineering services, research, and testing services, the government, or for consulting firms. A 40-hour work week is standard, although deadlines may mean working longer hours under considerable stress. I have the opportunity of working in two different environments. Uh, the office environment where we do a lot of our initial design, uh, project justification, economics, and the second phase where we're actually out in the plant location uh, implementing a process, uh, actually evaluating data or process conditions and making changes out the field to improve operations. Entry-level jobs usually require at least a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from an accredited program. However, engineers trained in one branch can obtain work in another area. If you're uh, pursuing a degree in chemical engineering or engineering in general, uh, I would have a strong focus in the math and sciences uh, classes particularly. Um, when you get to college, you will find that uh, the majority of the courses are emphasized in the math and sciences. Chemical engineers should be able to work as part of a team and should be creative, analytical, and detail-oriented. They must be good communicators, both orally and in writing. Graduate training may be necessary for advancement. I think you have to be somewhat uh, outgoing. Uh, you need to be able to work with a variety of different people, um, particularly when you move out to the operating environment or the plant site. Uh, you will be working with uh, various people from a plant foreman to a process operator, and dealing with those people is uh, very important. All states require registration for engineers whose work affects life, health, or property, or for those who offer their services to the public. The process to become registered includes four years relevant work experience and passing a state examination. I like the challenge of having a problem inside a plant and figuring it out, or trying to figure it out and come up with a solution that's workable, uh, can make the company money or can assist us in accomplishing our, our job duties out there. Job growth is expected to be about average in the future. The best opportunities may lie in the industries involving specialty chemicals, pharmaceuticals, and plastics. Much of the expected growth will be in service industries. Typical job duties might include researching the effects of a chemical on grease, formulating a compound to fight a particular disease, manufacturing prescription medications to exact standards, or testing a new additive for gasoline. Average earnings range between $45,000 and $65,000 per year. The education and training recommended is a bachelor's degree from an accredited program. Graduate degrees for teaching or to enhance promotional opportunities are recommended. Participating in continuing education to learn the latest advancements is common practice. Registration is required for certain types of work. 
the employment outlook is fair with average growth expected. Chemical companies will continue to research and develop new chemicals and more efficient processes to increase their production. For additional information, write the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, 345 East 47th Street, New York, New York, 10017.